Let's now go back and talk a little more about these layer masks. I'm going to make a new layer here from this background. I'm just going to take the background there, drag it up to my new layer button right there. That gives me a new layer named background copy. I'll just hide that background. That's what I like to do most of the time, so I always have my original saved back here. I'll just hide it and make a copy. Okay, now that we're on here, let's go up to Layer and Layer Mask. And I can choose one of two options, Reveal All or Hide All. Reveal All is going to fill it with white. It will look just like this. We'll get this little link in there and we'll get one of these squares over here and it will fill with white. Hide All will fill this with black. Let me just show you that. Reveal All, there's white. Let's undo that and then Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All, and Black, and it hides everything. And then let's just bring that back up. Now as we saw, let's just, just back up one step. There we go. As we saw in one of our previous discussions up here, you can use both black and white on your layer mask at the same time. And that will then give you areas where it's going to show through and areas where it's not going to show through. So in the background I can make this disappear again by painting in black on a white mask. So let's just do that first. Layer, layer mask, reveal all. Usually a good place to start. And this will be paint into this with black. And it hides anything which is black. Now this is a nice technique actually if you want to mask something out. You want to find a mask. Instead of using one of your selection tools, you can just use your painting tools. Like that. And the nice thing about this is if I mess up on this, if I don't get this quite right, if I kind of cut in my corner like that, I can fix that by switching my color over to white. Let's just go up here to Window, Color Swatches. Let's change our foreground color to white. And now I can paint white back in again and bring that missing piece back out. So it allows you to work back and forth by using black or white. Now we're not stuck with just black and white. I'm going to just kind of clean this out. Let me show you the real power of doing this. Of course, you know, the obvious stuff, you can you know, put a letter in here, a big letter in here in black, and that will then show everything except where the letter is, or you know, do a reverse selection and fill that in and you can then have your image inside of a letter. It's one way to do that because you're just, you know, painting inside of a shape. We can do the same trick with our shape tool over here. You know, come in and put a shape on and then wherever that shape is, if it's white, it's going to show. If it's black, it's going to hide it. So you can use all those standard tricks, of course. But what's also interesting is you, you can use gradients in here too. So right now, notice this little cyan outline around that. So right now I'm working on the mask. I'm not working on the image. I can work on the image over here or I can work on the mask on this side. So here's our gradients. There's the foreground to background. And it's white to black. We know that white is going to reveal and black is going to hide. So if I come in and then do a gradient across here just like that Notice how where the gradient is white, we're seeing the picture. Where the gradient is black, we're losing the picture. And then it fades. All of your gray tones give me different levels of transparency. So it's not just black and white like I did up here. Black is hide, white is reveal. But gray tones are transparent settings. So you can adjust your levels of transparency by using gray tones. If I wanted to have this a 50% transparent, in here 50% opacity simply fill this whole thing with a 50% gray and you have your 50% transparency so you're not stuck with just using black or white it's one of the things I don't really see talked about that much but it gives you a lot more control a lot more creative freedom on your masks let's just undo that gradient okay back up here again layer masks once you have a layer mask you can delete the layer mask you can apply that you can disable the mask so it's not working 
and you can enable that again enable let me show you that quickly and let's change our foreground color over here to black color swatches make it to black again there we go and then I'll paint in here we'll just take out that door just like that so right now the mask is enabled if we go up here to layer and layer mask disable the mask no longer working so you can apply or not on this mask if you, if you right click on this area you can do the same thing right there as so you can enable or disable right from your right click menu and that lets you kind of see how the mask is working so it gives you a way to to check that so we have that option in here we can unlink this right there right now because it's linked if I move the picture around the mask is going to go with the picture they'll stay locked together if I unlink this if I move the picture the mask is going to stay in one spot they just you know linked together or I can delete the mask or apply the mask so there you go that's working with those layer masks thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful if you like this video click on the like button below to let others know you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future I'm frequently uploading new training videos don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com you can share this video with your friends and coworkers just click on share and then click on the social media buttons feel free to comment on my videos I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can and finally you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.